The power is back on at the Atlanta airport, but it'll take quite some time to get airline schedules back to normal after Sunday's massive outage. Yeah, even here, Fox 4's yeah. Lori Brown's live at Dallas Love Field with more. Good morning, Lori. Good morning, Lauren. The massive power outage is having a ripple effect all over the place. Uh, just a few minutes ago, there were some really long lines at Delta and Southwest with some frustrated passengers, but it appears that hopefully people have been getting some answers because those lines are now significantly shorter. Even people not going to Atlanta have been facing flight delays. Dallas Love Field provided cots for all of the stranded passengers, and some people have learned that they can't get flights out until tomorrow. Officials say a fire in an underground electrical facility is what caused the outage at 1 p.m. Delta's biggest hub operation is in Atlanta and is hardest hit. One expert said operations will likely not return to normal for Delta until tomorrow, and it could take most of the week before all of the stranded passengers can get to where they need to go. We've spoken with several frustrated passengers who just want to get home. I spent $1,000 on an economy ticket for a direct flight to Delta, I mean, uh, to Atlanta Airport, and then it got canceled again. So, <laughs> like, here I am on my, my cot. <laughs> Officials are not yet sure what caused the fire. The airport has a lot of redundant power systems that are supposed to prevent an airport-wide outage like this. Many passengers we talked to were on hold for hours, so frustrated not being able to get through to anyone in person. They came out here to Dallas Love Field to try to talk to someone in person, and it looks like since those lines have gotten shorter that hopefully they are getting some answers. Over at DFW, there are 25 flights to Atlanta and four cancellations so far. Reporting live at Dallas Love Field, Lori Brown for Good Day.